found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. If you're new here, my name is Gigi and I post DIY videos. I saw this top on Pinterest and I decided to replicate it. So let's just get right into the video. Materials needed include the fabric of your choice, matching thread, measuring tape, pins, a pair of scissors, tailor's chalk, and your ruler. The first step is to place your fabric on a fold. I'm using my chest width measurement divided by two and I'm adding an extra four inches to give it that curl effect. If you want the curl effect to be more, you can add five to six inches. And I'm now using a total length of 16 and a half for the top. If you want it to be longer, had probably one or two more inches. Then on the other side, I'm marking a length of 10 inches, which I'll be connecting to the 16 and a half point. That is where the triangle effect is going to come in. Whatever the length you're using for your top, just make sure that the side length and the triangle point are at least 5 inches apart. So the triangle shape is going to actually be more pronounced. After connecting, I'm going to cut it out and I'll be cutting out two pieces. If you want to have fun with it, you can make it a different fabric so that you can wear it both ways. Here, I've gone ahead to cut out the two pieces that I'll be needing for the top, the two loops and the straps that I'll be needing also. I cut out loops that are two inches wide and four inches in length and also the straps can be as long as you want but they should be two inches wide. So in total, you should have two straps, two loops and two main body pieces next we are going to be closing up the strap you can do it two ways you can either fold in the two rough edges and do a top stitch or you can fold on the right side stitch it then turn it inside out which is what i did so i'll be doing that for the loops and the straps After closing up the loops and the straps, we are going to take our body pieces with the right sides facing. We are going to place them on top of each other like that. And we are going to take the loops and sandwich them in between those two pieces. We are going to be attaching them on this lower part here. We are going to make sure that once we fold the loop and we are sandwiching it, we are going to have at least one inch of the loop in between the two pieces. Measure it to make sure you have one inch so that it will be easy for the strap to pass through conveniently. That is what I'm doing here. I'm going to do that and use my paint to hold it in place and I'll repeat the same on the other side. After doing that, I'm cutting out the excess pieces. Next, we're going to take the strap and attach it to the top part of the bodies, sandwich in between the two pieces. I'm turning it around so that you guys can see what I'm doing clearly. So we're going to attach the strap to the top part in between the two pieces, pin it down. Make sure you have a little bit of an allowance so that you'll be able to join the side together. A quarter of an inch allowance is fine. Repeat the same for the second strap. And while you are sandwiching, make sure make sure the straps are not in any way in the, in the in the path of the stitch, so you don't go and stitch down the strap where it's not supposed to be. Kindly tuck it in well and pin your fabric where necessary, like I'm doing here. Next, we're going to the sewing machine to stitch around and leave at least three inches of space to turn the fabric inside out. After sewing, I ended up using a different color so you guys could see what I did. I turned my fabric inside out and for the open end that is still left, I'll fold it in and do a top stitch. After top stitching, this is what you should now have. 
next you're going to take the end of the strap and pass it through the loop and you are pretty much done with the top repeat the same for the other side you can play around with how you want to tie your how you want to tie your strap when you are done i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye